hi YouTube world, hi YouTube subscribers. Um, I had a lot of fun doing the video that I did yesterday for you guys. Um, the product review, going through some empty products and if I would buy them again or what I thought of them. So I wanted to make another video for you guys. Hopefully you like it. If you do, please give this a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, please subscribe if you like this video and want to see more. Okay, so um, most of my reviews are kind of from similar places. I'm a nurse. I live on a budget. Um, yeah, so I kind of shop at uh, not <laughs> high-end stores. Yes, there goes my cat. He likes to run across every time I make a video. Um, anyway... So I kind of shop at regular stores that probably most of you shop at. So without further ado, I'm going to give some reviews from things I've uh, bought at the dollar store, at um, like Walgreens, at Target, and let you guys know what I think of them. Um, some of these are uh, household good items, some of these are beauty products, and some of these are food products. So... Um, the first few things I wanted to review are um, some beauty products. So this is Jergens, and it is the Ultra Healing Repairs and Heals Extra Dry Skin um, with Vitamin C, E, and B5. So this is designed for extra dry skin moisturizing. Um, so I got this. I have very dry skin. Um, I also have very sensitive skin. So I was looking for a lotion that I could use when I get out of the shower or out of a bath that wouldn't um, irritate my skin but would also uh, moisturize it. So this isn't really a scented lotion. It's kind of like a Eucerin or Vaseline type of lotion that is just meant for moisturizing. Um, yes, it does have a little bit of a lotion smell, but it's not really scented. So I really loved this lotion at first, and I did think it was very hydrating. Um, it wasn't like super greasy or super thick or thin. I thought it was just right until I developed an allergic reaction to it which um i posted a little video about that but yeah after using this like three or four times which tends to happen um with my skin i started developing like a really bad reaction with hives everywhere so i will not be buying this product again um, but if you're not somebody who has sensitive skin or a lot of allergies and you just are looking for a good moisturizer um with something that's not really heavily scented, this is a good product for you. I will not be buying this again, but you can pick this up at Walgreens, at Target. It runs about $78. Okay, um, my next beauty product is called Beyond the Zone, and it's super sexy, texturize and distort for sexy, wavy, messy hair. So this one I got at um, Sally beauty supply and the person working there recommended it to me when I told them I was looking for something to give me waves um, and a little bit of a curl because I have pretty straight hair naturally um, but sometimes I like to like scrunch it and give some texture to it so at first again I really liked this product it was only like maybe seven or eight dollars um, it does kind of have a strong smell to it, which I don't really like with hair products, but, um, it kind of smells like fruity and I mean, it's not like a bad smell. It's just pretty strong. Um, and it did its job. It definitely, I would use this, um, you know, when my hair was still damp and just scrunch it in and it would leave my hair um, with like a nice scrunchy wave to it. The problem is the spray nozzle broke after a little while. So I'm gonna show you guys, I still have a little bit of product here. So it doesn't spray cor 
correctly. It doesn't spray like in a mist like it's supposed to. It kind of just squirts out in like a giant mess. Um, so yeah, I, so I stopped using it after that. Um, and over time it kind of develops this weird smell to it also. Um, so I'm not going to be repurchasing this. Um, this will be a don't for me. I think it was like, yeah, like seven or eight dollars. Okay. Um, my next beauty product or hair product really is this scrunchie. So, or not scrunchie, this headband. And I got this one at the dollar store. Um, and I also got, it came in like a set of two with like a hot pink one. And I thought this would be really good for when I'm working out. Um, it's obviously not good if it's almost like small enough that it could fit a kid's head, but I have a small head, so I was like, eh, I'll give it a shot for a dollar. Anyway, um, I do like this for working out. The only problem is it does slide, like it tends to slide when you're moving around a lot. So I have to bobby pin it into place. Um, but other than that, for a dollar, it's a good buy, and yes, I would buy this again. Um... Now a headband I didn't like that I got from the dollar store is this black one or these black ones. They came in like a set of two or three and they're really thin which I don't mind because sometimes wearing thick headbands they can start to hurt like especially back here. They can start giving you a headache after a while. But um, so I got this little one. Obviously my hair is short so I thought it would be okay. But it doesn't really do a good job at holding my hair back, as you can see. Um, so I actually wouldn't recommend or buy this one again unless you have very short hair or very thin hair. Um, instead, I would recommend get spending a couple bucks more at Target. They have similar to this, but they have these little grips in them, as you can see, all around that actually do a much better job of holding your hair in place. Um, I know at my job I'm running around, so I don't have time to be like fixing my hair. Um, so that's why I recommend you go to Target or Walmart probably has them as well and spend a little more for the ones that actually have like grooves in them. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. And then I've been like on this workout kick lately since I signed up with a new gym. So I went and bought more headbands, like workout headbands at Walgreens. Um, they came in packs of twos. So I think it was these two. And these two. And I think they were around $4 each for the sets. And they specifically said on them, you know, like for working out, they stay in place. Um, you don't have to worry about them sliding. And you can tell they're like, they're a certain type of material that's good at, that's kind of like workout material that's better, I think, at being like breathable, like a lot of workout clothes. Um, so I do like these a lot. Um, these ones you can tell have like a grippy kind of part to them um, on the inside and that helps hold it together. I don't know if you can see that but there's like these tiny little beads and they actually I tested them out and they actually do stay in place even when you're running around and everything at the gym. Um, the only problem I have with them is they're, they are a little bit Thin, so my hair still tends to kind of like poof out. I think I need to get bigger worker workout headbands, um, kind of like this one that I got. But um, I still think they're okay, um, especially if you have like a ponytail or something and you just want a little headband to keep the flyaways down. 
my hair is too short really to be put into a ponytail so they're okay um I, I probably wouldn't buy them again just because i still have these but um they're okay if you're just looking for something like i said with a bun or a ponytail i think they're more designed for that okay um the next thing i want to review is something else i got at walgreens pull it out of my box here um and these are little microblading like eyebrow brushes and um they came, I think, in like a set of three. They weren't really expensive. They were like $4 or something. But I'd seen a couple YouTubers who were using these to actually shave their face, which I know sounds weird. But um, some YouTubers claim that, you know, it gets rid of dead skin better than using a cleanser or soap or whatever. Um, and it also gets rid of like fine hair if you have a lot of like peach fuzz um, which I do in certain parts of my face and um, I don't know that it just leaves your face like super smooth and everything like that so I use these and I'm not an esthetician so I wouldn't recommend buying these unless you are an esthetician because I was using these on my face and it actually kind of wound up scarring me out for a little bit like right here um, I had some like acne and it like cut it and um, it actually like cut the acne open and it left like a bad scar for a while so I really don't recommend buying these unless you know what you're doing and you've seen either somebody else do it before um, or you're an esthetician because just because somebody says it's okay to do on YouTube doesn't mean it's safe as I learned the hard way um, and I have very sensitive skin if you have sensitive skin I don't recommend buying something like this because um, your skin probably scars easily or gets irritated easily um, also, I feel like these blades just aren't a good idea in general because you're opening up like these are they look really flimsy and like what are they going to do but they actually do cut into your skin and that's kind of like asking in my opinion as a medical expert if you don't know what you're doing it's kind of like asking for infection and um, germs to get in there so I would stay away from these. Okay, the next thing I want to review is something from Bath and Body Works. Um, so this is Slatkin and Co. Winter Candle, and I've pretty much burned through like most of it. You can tell it has a really good burn level. Um, it smells awesome. Um, I think it does smell just like how it's described. Um, it, it smells kind of like vanilla-ish and almost kind of like pepper, peppermint or something minty that does just remind you of winter time and like snow. And I feel like I got a lot of burn use out of this. Like it burns for a long time, slowly. Um, the only thing is these candles are more expensive. This one was $20 so they can run anywhere you know 15 to like $30 but they are really good candles um, it says this one has pine orange clove bay leaf and winter woods I guess is the smell um, but yeah it does smell like woodsy too woodsy and like fresh and clean so. um, a couple other candles I got here um, these you can purchase at the dollar store they're the brand luminescence and this particular one is vanilla um, so you can see it didn't really burn like evenly like there's some wax at the top and it's kind of like all different levels here 
Um, but this one actually did smell really good. I think it's kind of hard to screw up a vanilla candle, but I'm sure there probably are bad ones out there. But this one, um, it actually had a decent throw for a dollar candle. Um, and it's just like how it's described. Um, I feel like this would make a great little like gift bag um, item or like in somebody, a stocking stuffer or whatever. Or even like if you're doing like a gift basket, this would be a good one to throw in. On that same token, this is another one of those luminescence um, candles and I actually didn't like this one, um, not nearly as much. And this is also um, the Dollar Tree brand of candles. Um, this one is supposed to be peppermint, but I don't think this had like really any scent to it. Um, like even smelling it now, like I can't smell anything. And then when you burn it, it's the same thing. And it doesn't, these candles don't have a good like burn quality. So if it doesn't even smell good, there's no point in it really. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't buy this one again. Um, something else I got from the dollar store is this Renews It. I don't know if that's how you say it. I don't know if anybody knows how you say it, but Renews It <laughs> scented, um, you know, like a bath bathroom fragrance um, gel, I guess. So this one is apple cinnamon, and I actually, I really like this one. Um, I, I think it reminds me a lot of fall and like, like leaves and apples and I just like it. Um, yeah, they only last like, I don't know, a few weeks, but for like a dollar, it's perfect for when you're having like guests over, when you're having company. Um, and all you have to do is just like twist it as it gets slower. Um, and it has like a pretty strong scent at least for like the first couple weeks so I would recommend this one I would buy this one again now something I wouldn't recommend from the dollar store is I think I got this from the Dollar Tree too and it's the Express Express Air Freshener in Rose this one I do not like the actual smell of it it smells to me like grandma's and old ladies potpourri or something terrible um it almost smells worse than what you're trying to get rid of the smell of so I wouldn't recommend these um I know it's only a dollar but I just I don't know I would not buy this again uh it's like way too old ladyish smelling and overpowering anyway okay and then my last but not least I have some food items um, I'm pretty sure you can get all these from the dollar store uh, I know I got I got this one from not from the Dollar Tree but um 99 below and they have it it's killed kitchen fixins lightly salted crispy jalapenos they also have the same thing in like fried onions and both of them um were worth the dollar to me um they're great for like salads and if you're looking for like a healthier little snack um it's got a little kick to it um it's crunchy it stays crunchy like i've had this for a couple months now and they're still crunchy same thing with the onions um, and I use them a lot and you can put these like on top of casseroles or anything like that um, so I do recommend that I would buy this again this one you can get at grocery stores but you can also get them at the Dollar Tree um, probably 99 below I'm assuming too and it's the I don't know how you say this one either Yaki soba teriyaki beef flavor and if you like um, Asian flavors and or you're just sick of eating like 
cup of noodles and you want to try something out that's a little more exotic I recommend something like this especially if you like like teriyaki beef jerky or um, like teriyaki chicken this tastes like teriyaki and for a dollar you can't go wrong is it the healthiest thing on the planet no but um, for those nights when you're just wanting to be lazy and not cook or you're you know at work and you don't have time to cook this is pretty tasty I feel like and this I think you can get at the dollar store I'm not 100% sure but I got this at the grocery store and um I've been seeing these around a lot they're called harvest snaps and I wanted to try them since they're supposed to be like a healthy snack you know I'm all into like trying healthy snacks um you know to curb my appetite from eating chips or whatever so <laughs> these ones are the wasabi ranch flavor so if you eat a lot of sushi wasabi is like that spicy like that sp spicy mustard that's served on the side with a lot of sushi so this does have a little kick to it and then it, it like blends nicely though with the ranch um, flavoring these are a little crunchy they kind of remind me though of veggie straws but a little bit spicier um, these have 130 calories per serving which isn't too bad um, not much as far as like nutritional value but um, they don't have a lot of calories and they do have a little bit of protein and not a whole lot of fat only 4.5 grams of fat so that's pretty good um would i buy these again yeah i probably would um i'm surprised that they have five grams of protein that's actually pretty good anyway that's the end of my um empties and haul video um like i said don't forget to like if you like this please leave me questions comments below let me know if you like this video okay till next time stay tuned bye guys